Hey everybody, welcome back to Thicker Liquor. My name is John and I am with the lovely Janice here from Siblings React and Drink. Yay! And today we are going to make a couple of sapphire drinks, real easy, refreshing drinks that anybody can do. Let's get into it. Yeah. All right, we're back. So, are you excited to try yes. this? Um, I can't wait to to see what you're gonna make with this uh, Bombay Sapphire Gin, which uh, I tried for the first time recently mm. and was pleasantly surprised that I really liked it. I never had been a gin person before, so yeah, gin is an interesting drink because uh, it's not one of you. It's very popular, you know what I mean. But a lot of yeah. people like vodka drinks and whiskey drinks, as we all do our whiskey reviews and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, these are going to be just a couple simple, uh, refreshing, yeah. Uh, and this is good quality gin too. So a lot of it comes down to right. what kind of gin do you have at home, and uh, if it's good quality Bombay Sapphire gin, drinks are going to taste that much better. Well, I definitely recommend this particular gin, just based on my past uh, experience with it. Yes, I think that this is one of the best gins. Did you see this beautiful bottle? It all comes with this. Yes. Gorgeous bottle. It's got a picture of the Queen on there. Mm hmm Right? Mm-hmm. London. Dry gin, imported, product of England. Mm. Not a bad thing. Let's try this out. We're going to make a couple of drinks. Uh, what do you think we should try first? What are the options? Well, I'd say we're going to do a what they call a Sapphire Collins, which is oh. kind of like a Tom Collins. This is a little tricky because Tom Collins is the gin and juice. Okay. And uh, this is more of a gin and club soda oh, drink that we're going to put together. Okay. Uh, it's going to be tasty. Let's get started. All right. Very easy. Yeah. Okay, you take a nice glass like this. This is a stemless wine glass. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to dump a couple of ice cubes in there. Okay. One, two. Look at those big blocks. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to start off with, first of all, we're going to put a little bit of lime in there. All right, squeeze the lime all over. It's not going <laughs> to kill you. Bye, bye. We're going to go ahead and put a little lime in there, and then you want that lime to fall right in there, okay? All right. And we're going to do... These are about an ounce and a quarter. So we're gonna do one. Let me know if I'm in your way. No, you're good. Okay. Two, and we're gonna put a three quarter ounce of this simple syrup. Don't ask how I'm measuring. You just know <laughs> what three ounces is and what three quarter of an ounce is. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put the rest with this club soda Stir it up a little bit here. All right. Okay, let's give this a twirl. This looks refreshing already. Yeah. Get it nice and cold. So again, very simple. A little simple syrup, a couple ounces of gin, and now you tell me what you Should think of that drink. Yeah, please. What does it smell like? It smells refreshing because of the, I can taste the um, taste. I can smell the lime. And look at all that lime, the big chunks of lime floating around in there. That looks like it's going to be really good. I yeah, like it. you like that? You want to try? Yeah, I'll give that a try. It's good. I could see myself having some of these. Wow, that is very refreshing. Very refreshing. I mean, there's really nothing to it three quarter of an ounce of this, three ounces of Bombay, mm -hmm. and then just top it off with some club soda. Club soda is really good. There's no really no taste to it. It's just, uh, you know, carbonated water in a sense. Very refreshing. Well, I like it. All right. We'll work on that one for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the next drink. Okay. So now the next one we're gonna try is just a simple gin and tonic oh. okay but we're using obviously good uh, Bombay Sapphire gin so let's check out that this should be pretty easy as well we're gonna start off with this nice glass here we're out in the country here today thicker liquor too so you can see the country theme 
on everything. Got country curtains. Really <laughs> nice little setup. Uh, let's get this drink together. All right. Okay, so again, very simple drink. Anybody can do. You don't need to be a fancy bartender to do it. Okay, block of ice in there. We'll just do one yeah, block of ice because this good. one's kind of good. And, and you so, said this is gin and tonic? This is just a classic gin and tonic. Now, let me just say that how many movies and TV shows, you know, constantly mention when people are like, oh, let me get a gin and tonic. I always wondered about it. Yeah. This is going to be my first gin and tonic that I'm ever going to Ever? Well, yes. this is going to be good. I'm happy to be the first to pour you a nice gin and tonic. <laughs> right here, here on Thicker Liquor, people. <laughs> <laughs> very good. This is going to be uh, a very simple gin and tonic. And again, these drinks are really easy. Anybody mm -hmm. can put these together. It's not a, uh, a big, you know, production. You don't need shakers. You don't need anything else. And, you know, so far they're very refreshing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put this one together. So this is going to be something a little similar. We're going to start off ice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just a little bit of lime. Put it right there. Hold on to that lime. And these are... Oh, we got a train coming through here, folks. <laughs> you can hear the train zipping by. It's not far from here. That train's going to Canada, by the way. Also part of the royal experience mm -hmm. up in those Canadians. You hear That's you? right. Yeah, hater. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So for these drinks, it's always going to be one part gin, two parts tonic. Okay. Okay, so we're going to measure this out, and we're going to do two ounces Okay, I leave this a little short on the top because I know it's a one and a half. So we're going to do about two ounces of gin. And then we're going to do four ounces. And I'll do the one and a half of tonic. It's one and a half. It's one and a half. And there's a one. And we'll get that line back on the top there. Stir it up real good. All right. So you tell me what you think of your first gin and tonic. What does it smell like? It smells like, I, I can still smell the lime. I think the lime is probably the strongest mm -hmm. for me since I can't really smell very yeah. well. All right, let's see. Should have like a little bit of a lasting it's good. Kind of a little bittery taste to it or I, something, right? And now, I mean, they're similar. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't know which one I like better, but they're both very good. Let me try this one. Yeah, for sure. Oh, wow. Look at that. So that one does right? have a little bit of like that. I wouldn't call it a bitter taste. It's an interesting taste. It's the tonic. Wait, let me, let me compare them again. I think I like this one just a tad better. Really? Because this one has some sort of like aftertaste and I don't know what is causing that for me. Mm -hmm. But this one is is like sweet, kind of sour. Yeah. You know? Yeah, the tonic obviously gives you off that flavor. That And this one is just club soda, so there's really nothing other. Let me see. So gin and tonic, huh? Mm -hmm. I finally tried my first gin and tonic. You might be I a gin it. and tonic kind of person. Maybe. You know, I like <laughs> this one, but it's it's interesting because mm. this one has a simple syrup, but it's not coming out at you as like as sweet as it should right. be. Right, right, right. It, and it definitely has that little aftertaste. I'm not sure what mm -hmm. what I'm tasting there, but I seem I feel like I like this one better. Yeah. Just the tad, you know. You're probably tasting the gin mm. directly on that. But the gin, I've tried this. Well. When last time I, we mm -hmm. tried it, I had it by itself, and it, it had, I don't know, it was like... You want to give that a try? Yeah. Let's see what this tastes like. Let's so see this if that's is just what I'm tasting. Gin. Tell me what you get out of that taste. Oh, yeah, that's the little aftertaste I'm tasting here, yeah. but not here. Not with the gin and tonic. It's just got that little mm -hmm. kick, a little bit of a kick there. At the very end, it almost, uh, it almost, it starts off like gin. You're mm -hmm. like, oh, this is gin. And then for like a little period of time, it, it kind of has like a vodka taste to it. Isn't that at the end, you get like, when you drink straight vodka, you kind of have that little aftertaste as well. It kind of get right. that sense here a little right, bit right. too. Well, let me tell you, next time that we record a video on siblings react and drink, we, we're definitely gonna have some either gin and tonic or, you know, 
Mm-hmm. What was this one called? Uh, that's a uh, sapphire. Sapphire Collins. Collins. Mm-hmm. I think we should have it. Yeah, that's very refreshing. Mm-hmm. Both very of much. these are very refreshing drinks, and uh, you wouldn't think that with the gin. You know, gin is usually people you think like gin martinis, like fancy James Bond kind of stuff. Right. But you can make uh, some very good, tasty drinks. Ooh, I can't wait until we make a martini. with the, Martini the, next yeah. on Thicker Liquor. All right. All right, well, that was exciting. I hope you enjoyed the, making this little video. I really yes. appreciate it, and I enjoy making these videos oh, with I, you. I it's, love it. Uh, please call me back whenever. Yes. I, I'm here. <laughs> we'll make these videos because uh, hopefully you guys, what do you guys want to see with gin and tonic or with any other sapphire drink? You let me know uh, right here. Check it out. There's the beauty. Pay homage to the queen. There we go. And uh, so uh, that's it. All right. We're going to go and try out these drinks. I'm going to take this one. Okay. You can have this oh, one. Yes, I will. All Thank right. You. Cheers. And we're going to rock out the rest of this bottle, figure out other kind of drinks. Boom. Thank you again. Cheers. Catch you next time on Thicker Liquor. Thank you for having me.